Now I'm on to green peppers for the freeze dryer. I've got them all chopped uniformly, got these loaded, get that last one in and ready to start another process. We're in the drying cycle on the um, peppers. It's already been going for 19 hours. I can tell they've shrunk a little in size, but boy, they are beautiful. They're maintaining their color really, really nice. Really anxious to get these out. After this, I have, and these were not pre-frozen, by the way. These were just chopped up and put straight into the freeze dryer. I have four more trays ready to go when this is done that I do have in the freezer getting ready. And it's a combination of sweet and hot peppers. So, it's hard to tell how much longer I've got because I haven't used it enough, but probably an hour or so, and then it's got an extra two hour drive that I'm gonna let it go. So anyway, Fred is working wonderfully for me. I think next after peppers, I'm gonna try eggs. I'm not sure yet, more like. Okay, we were coming to the end of the dry time for the peppers. This was the extra two hour dry time. So down to 30 seconds. They look great. I've got a fan on my pump and it has been running the entire time. The oil looks great. It's still nice and clear. And we're coming down to the last 17 seconds. They look beautiful. And here's the countdown. All right. So we are going to go now to defrost so I can get the next ones in. So again, we're going to open the drain valve. Drain valve is open. Let that continue to compress. And then I'm going to move the re remove product from the door, open that, and I will put the next trays in. I have removed all the trays. And now we're gonna hit the continue. And it's gonna go defrosting. Get rid of that ice. And I gotta tell you, these peppers are freaking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh my gosh. I am so excited about this. Next goes in the trays that I've got in the freezer. As soon as the defrost is done, and so I have a combination of sweet and hot on those. So stay with me. I'm getting ready for my next dose of, or batch of peppers. It's cooling down right now. And what I have here, I have four trays in this batch I have frozen first, two are sweet, one is a tray of serranos, which I have just split lengthwise, and then I have a tray of jalapenos that I have just sliced. So this is, these are getting ready to go in, and we'll freeze dry throughout the night, and we will check them again in the morning. Loving this. Here's the end results of all of my peppers. I did, it ended up being six trays of sweet peppers that I chopped up and I just left at the same size. And then I had two trays, one tray of serranos and cayennes and a tray of habanero or a jalapenos. So I just mixed them all to powdered it and mixed it all together to make a nice little powder to sprinkle into the recipes. I am just so, so pleased with this. Can't tell you how much fun I'm having with this freeze dryer. I love the colors. I noticed some of them, I had more red peppers mixed together. It's just beautiful. And I tasted them. They taste like sweet, sweet candy. I mean, it's, uh, it's indescribable, but oh my gosh, I'm having a ball. Anyway, peppers are done. I've got all my peppers for the garden taken care of. And now I'm on to eggs. So join me. Again, if you enjoyed this video and like to see more of them, please hit the subscribe button. 
Like I said, I'm going to continue my ventures of uh, freeze dryer. As I learn, you can learn with me. And we are going on to eggs next. My hands are laying great and I want to take advantage of it. Thank you and have a wonderful day.